Hey sports fans, it's Phantom 100 here. Welcome back to Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Hey guys going? Welcome to the video. Appreciate you guys coming by and clicking the button. I work hard on my thumbnails, so I'm hoping that that's what enticed you. If you're a current subscriber, then yeah, I appreciate you. So we had a, a uh, suggestion recently to uh, play Roy, basically. Some tips were given in the comments section, and uh, I have not had a huge chance to practice the Roy. But I have played him in the past, so I have a vague idea of how he works, but uh, I do know that um, being a Fire Emblem character, he's very much like swing sword get kill if you uh, use your brain just a little bit. So I'm going to try and play Roy online today and see what happens. <laughs> what could go wrong, right? Um, couldn't go any worse than it did with Snake last week, that's for sure. Uh, check out that video from last week, I played Snake. It was really fun, but uh, I didn't do so great because I feel like he's a really high skill ceiling character to use. Hopefully Roy's a bit easier. Uh, so yeah, we'll try that right now. So we'll find uh, three opponents. We'll rematch one of them as we always do. So four battles all together. And uh, let's see if we can get that GSP up, shall we? <laughs> Fight! Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the first battle is gonna be against Alexander playing Pichu. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Go! Fight me, Pichu. So Pichu is very fast, but so is Roy. Uh, what I want to remember though is that Roy's regular attacks, this one like this, really short range this here. Very short range. But, one thing I do like about characters like Roy and Marth is that uh, their specials are really good. They have a counter, um, their side special has different inputs depending on whether you uh, do an up or down or sideways direction. Uh, nope, we died. <laughs> we both died. Why did the Pichu die? Was that... Like, I knew why I died. That was just me uh, not fully paying attention to how much recovery I had. But why did Pichu cark it? Now the difference between Roy and Marth, their attacks are very similar, but uh, Roy's attacks, well they're imbued by fire. I think, I don't think they're as fast, but they hit harder, because Marth is really quick. I used to play a lot of Marth, that's why a lot of Roy's attacks do feel familiar. Because I played, well I've not ever played Marth a fair bit, but I actually did play him on the channel as well. Uh, so if you haven't seen that one, that's a bit of an older video. Well, not super old, but it's one of my earlier Smash videos. But yeah, I did play Marth. Can't remember if I did well with him or not. Um, but yeah, the only way you'd be able to find out is if you go and find that. And uh, maybe comment on it and tell me how I did. Because <laughs> I don't remember, it's been a while. Now that was a mistake, but I wasn't sure what direction I was facing. And I thought I might have been able to hit him. I think it was just a... Uh, just me a chance. Now, Pichu has not used his uh, final smash yet, but oh, there it is. I was about to say, he's going to do it when the opportunity arises, and that was a good opportunity. That was a good kill. Well done. That's evened it up to uh, one all now. Uh, only a slight uh, damage deficit, but that's it. That's not enough. That's not enough to make the Pichu player worry. The only advantage I've got is that Pichu is very light, and he deals damage to himself with his uh, uh, electric attacks in particular. Oh, jeez, okay. I've got to be careful here. I don't want to set those bombs off. I don't know how much, I don't know how much damage they'll do to me, because I never get this stage. Okay, that didn't quite work how I wanted it to, but I tried. Oh, jeez, okay, hang on. Okay, that was fast. Okay, so the bombs didn't do damage to me, that's good. It was a, a possible social experiment. Oh, God, I need, to, I need to stop being above him. Go away, please. I did too early. Oh wow, that actually killed me. Okay, I honestly thought I was going to win that game. If I'm completely honest with you. thought I had it in the bag. I got overconfident. I let him kill me. Well done, Pichu. I, uh, I shouldn't have gotten confident. Felt like I knew what I was doing, and oh boy, we just lost a lot of global smash from that fight. <laughs> uh, you know what, we'll rematch him. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's try this again. Rematch time. <laughs> I'm glad he rematched me because I want Oh, not this stage, dear lord. Go! Question mark? <laughs> Hesitantly? I really didn't want this stage. This stage, it's not big enough. It's not enough space for me. I like to have a bit more space, a bit more breathing room, especially against a, a fast opponent or opponent that hits hard. But uh, small stage like this could be my advantage, could be my deficit. The thing about small stages like this, is that, you know, it's, it's really... Really, anybody's go. It's all about uh, map awareness. Like, for example, this stage, one of the important things is to know... Oh, well, that was close. I think. No, 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 no! 
the, the, the trick to the stage is knowing where the, when the water's coming in and uh, to actually have the knowledge that that water doesn't hurt you, but it makes you slide off. I've seen many people in the past just get swept off that because they haven't had the stage before. And then, so when they get it, they're standing where that peach you was on the incline there and uh, get swept away by the water. And I'm sure that as they get swept away and die, they're probably like, wait, what? Same with this boy here, because you can land on him. Uh, a lot of people probably don't know that. I, I never used to go near him, like, because I'd be like, if I, I felt like if I touched him, I'd probably die or get hit. But um, you can land on him safely, and I figured that out entirely by accident. It's definitely worth uh, practicing on every stage if you can. Like when you're learning the game, when you're learning a character, possibly because you can choose stages, obviously. Um, the best thing to do is what I do is the, the transform thing, where you can have two stages active, and the game shifts between them. Oh, fudge. That's not good. <laughs> so, that way you are playing on two stages per gaming session, right? Per match, you've got two stages, so it's great for practice. Oh, I dare you. Don't you dare. Okay, we didn't hit. Actually, I thought I did, as so I went quiet. I was like, oh, let's watch this, but no, I... I failed to hit him. It's fine. Could be worse. Now, I'd love to hit him with my counter, but I'm not game enough to try and throw it out. Oh boy, if he hits me with that, I think I'm dead. I think- oh, no! Okay! What the fudge? No, that's not what I wanted to do! No, no, oh my god, no, my recovery did go off. I was mashing up special, and uh, it didn't happen. <laughs> it quite literally didn't happen. Gee, that feels familiar. I think that happened recently on my up special didn't go off. Something weird, man. I'm even using a different controller, because I have my Joy-Cons, and I have my 8 do. Uh, Pro, uh, SN30 Pro Plus by AP2. Really good third-party controllers. I highly recommend getting one. And uh, I've had that problem with both controllers, so it must be just me. Um, but yeah, if you want a if you want a different controller, SN30 Pro is pretty cool. I mentioned it in a Pokemon video at one time. I don't know why I'm plugging a controller right now. I just felt like mentioning that it's pretty comfortable. It's got vibration. It's wireless. The only thing it doesn't do is turn on your console. Um, but I mean, how hard is it to? press the button on your console and turn it on. <laughs> anyway, that's enough controller plugging. Uh, let's fight. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is a T for Atif playing Toon Link. I don't think I've fought against a Toon Link in a while either. One, go! go! And this map again. I, I think I'm pretty sure I had this map in the last like two or three videos I did. I had this map. It's funny, there's so many maps in the game, but I'm definitely getting some a lot more than others. Uh, that was the freest kill I've ever gotten. I actually feel kind of bad about it because, you know, that kind of kill is only possible on maps like this one, where you've got the platforms all the way to the side. Oh, wow, what a combo of attacks that was. Hitting with the bomb. Mad respect. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attack that lying down though. I'm gonna take it standing up. Oh, you walked into that one, my friend. I didn't deserve that. Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay. I was waiting for an opportunity to punish him. Didn't quite go how it went out in my head. Oh, I nearly fell to my death. That would be really awkward. Take a regular special attack. Boom. All right. We should try and do the counter on him. Let's see. If, let's see if we can encourage that. Oh. Oh. Whoa. 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 Hang on a second. When did you get that? Why do you have that? Hang on. No. Oh no. That's right. His. This is the melee one. For some reason, I thought it was the ranged ones. I was trying to stay out of his line of sight. No, that's just the melee one. Darn it. He, he denied my counter. Oh. Whoops. I didn't mean to smash attack there. I wanted to do this. Alright. Let's see if we hit him. No, oh, it's so short range. Fudge. That gets him, though. <laughs> that works. Alright, Mr. Linky Boy. Have that. Music's getting faster. Why is the music getting faster? And canna. No. Did it too early. I think that's too choreographed. I think get landing that's going to be really difficult to do. Alright, Mr. Link Boy. Come on. No. I'm like, come on, let's go. And as soon as I throw out the challenge, he dies on me. Ooh. I really like Roy's design and animations, though. Gotta be honest. Really, um... I really like that aesthetic. 
Well, that was a very short battle. Jesus. Okay, well, we can't rematch you because we've already used our rematch. We already used it against the, the vicious, savage little Pichu, which completely ravaged us twice in a row. Never underestimate the Pichu, man. He may be small, innocent, and cute looking, but he's a destroyer of worlds. Well, that slightly redeemed us for our, our, our first lot, but we, we still don't have a lot. We still are down GSP because of the two losses. So we have one more fight today. We've got to win this one. At least try and get some Smash power back. Otherwise, we're in a we're in a bit of trouble. We're never going to get a character to delete Smash at this rate. <laughs> fight! All right, guys, our final battle is about to start, and it's against Astro Venom. Play. Oh God, he's playing the Enderman. Oh no. <laughs> Go! I, uh, I, was it, I haven't played Minecraft in a long time, but the last time I did play it, uh, I was playing with, uh, some friends, and, uh, they took me to the area in Minecraft where all the Endermans are, where there's, like, there's just hundreds of them, right? And, uh, the thing about Enderman in, uh, Minecraft is, if you look at him, if you look at him, make eye contact with him, well, death is in your in your future because he's an absolute savage. If you just don't look at them, if you just don't look up at them and don't point your screen at them, they don't care. But as soon as you make contact, oh boy. And it's actually kind of terrifying, especially when you see so many of them. Like, I'm talking like, you know, like, looks like there's a hundred of them. They're just endless. Um, so, I guess I have mild PTSD from getting dived bombed by all these endermen and running and fleeing in terror. Um... So, of course, seeing the Enderman here reminds me, like, I'd completely forgotten that when they added Steve to Minecraft, I forgot that they added, you know, multiple uh, skins for him, and one of them included an Enderman. Though, uh, in my memory in Minecraft, Endermans don't uh, build stuff. <laughs> it's a cool idea, though. I do appreciate it. But uh, they, they are very intimidating. Now, I don't know what this guy's doing. Um... I did because I wasn't even paying attention. And he's already down to his last stock, and I'm sitting here confused, being like, "Did I have an influence on that?" Oh, hang on a second. Okay, now I think he's is pretty close range. You're just gonna stay away from him. Come on, come and get me. I dare you. I dare you to come and get me. No, wait, no, no, I don't dare you. No! <laughs> That's what I get for daring him. Oh, creeper death. Look, see, Endermans eat too, apparently. <laughs> oh, that killed me. Bollocks. Had to, what are you doing? Don't, don't do any mining on me. This this isn't Minecraft. This is Smash Bros. You're playing the wrong game. Fudge. Okay, well done. I'm not done with you. Get over here. I love that the, the, the Star Fox 64 music is playing in the background. Is I'm pretty sure it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not dumb, right? I'm not crazy. Come here. Come here. God, why are you being so nimble all of a sudden? <laughs> as soon as I start paying attention to the game, I play worse. Is that what it is? Was I doing fine while I just wasn't paying attention while I was reminiscing about getting killed by enemies? Is that it? Is my whole stick, after all, just not... I will hit one of these one day, but today is not that day. <laughs> now, kindly... What are you doing? What are you doing, good sir? Ow! That's rude. Don't just run at me swinging your sword. Who do you think you are? Oh god, the minecart. I was not expecting that. Oh fudge. Don't you dare unsh unshield and attack me. No, no. Why didn't the why didn't the counter prog? I'm sad. What are you doing? I'm really tired of you, Mr. Enderman. Why don't you just end it, man? Yeah, I know, I know that was bad. I know it was bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Puns are my thing, so... <laughs> You're gonna have to bear with me when I get in the mood. When I get in the mood, nothing can stop me. Are you dead now? Yay! Thank God. Dear Lord, I thought that would never end. <laughs> that was the weirdest match I've ever had. Because I couldn't tell if he was good, I couldn't tell if he was trying hard, if he was learning, if he was trying... I had no idea. I, I couldn't, just like when I come across Enderman in Minecraft, I could not get a read on him and what he was thinking. Uh, the only thing I was getting from him is DEATH, um, but it was nowhere near as intimidating as the real thing. <laughs> and as for what it's based off of, don't get me started on Slenderman, I haven't played that game, I don't know much about it, I'm not good with horror games, and I ain't touching it with a 10 foot pole. Anyway, that's enough about me reminiscing about Enderman and Slenderman and all that random stuff. Uh, so that was Roy. Uh, 
I did okay, I suppose. I mean, that was kind of... I don't know how earned that win was, but... We did stuff. We, we gained a bit of GSP back. Um, it's not a top GSP, but it is what it is. I'd love to hear more suggestions, guys. Keep bringing in the suggestions of what characters you want to see me play. I'm not going to mention who I play quite often. And uh, if you're not sure who I've already played, all my games are in playlists. So there's a complete Smash Bros. playlist with all the characters I've played. And I uh, appreciate you guys hanging around and watching these videos. Um, when I reach 300 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. There's going to be a $100 Steam gift card and three months YouTube premium to two separate winners. So you should definitely hit those buttons and stick around for those things. Um, and I hope to do more giveaways as I continue to grow in the future because I have big ambition for my channel and uh, I'm working very hard towards that. So I appreciate you guys for watching and helping me do what I do. So until the next time, guys, dodge that game over screen. I am Phantom100 and I'm signing out for now.